the energy vibration reading for the sun, moon, and rising Taurus. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the last week of October, and the week begins from the um, 23rd until the 29th. It is, um, I want to say. Uh, please listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Go back and listen to the month videos. Please thumbs up, like, and share these videos. Uh, it is going to be wonderful. It's going to be a powerful week. Your week is looking really, 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 really good because um, um, the week is the week of fire and the zodiac energy is water. So um, it's going to be a change of the guards uh, and this sort of a thing. So this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be powerful. What is happening? 99 is your energy vibration. There is an end to a situation and it's good because all your troubles and burdens that you have been carrying there is an end to it you have two two times nine nine of pentacles and earth sign on monday on tuesday you have um the energy of the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming true on tuesday on wednesday you have the energy of the devil it's a day of sex sex drugs and rock and roll on thursday your burden um, you're releasing your burden on Friday the ten of swords um, whatever lies and whatever conflicts whatever situation the truth has come out and on Saturday the Sun comes out on Sunday you have to deal with the king of sword which is an air sign but and not to worry let's look and see what else whoa is happening for you Taurus is it's going to be a wonderful week um, for you Taurus it's going to be really a wonderful week for you Taurus is okay you have a week of resting the four of swords at a time of rest is an incubation time take this week and see it as an incubation time because you need to rest whatever is happening you really really need to rest in this week for the younger people the people between the ages of 18 and um, 35 it's going to be a wonderful wonderful week because whatever is happening you're seeing that these energies and these situations are going to be changing in your life okay let's look at your week which is a positive good week Monday you have the hurt energy you have the nine of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles is a wonderful energy that means whatever financial situation that you have been having you're wondering how you're finance you're going to finance certain things in your life you're going to realize that the energy of the nine of Pentacles is that you are going to have that financial security and you also have the ten of Pentacles so you go you Taurus is whatever is happening your financial situation is going to be looking well on good on Monday on a Tuesday you have the energy vibration of the nine of cups whatever is happening this is positive your wishes and dreams are coming true and you also have the energy vibration of the seven of Pentacles you're working hard you're trying to get your family life a secure basis basis of your family life and you're trying to bring in positive energy and wonderful energy so this is wonderful and this is good whatever the situation is that was happening with your family situation you're working hard to bring a, a perfect balance with your family situation and money won't be a problem for you Tauruses as we move forward the middle of the week is the energy of the devil and I think that is the reason why you receive just go in incubation whatever the situation is especially for the people who are between the ages of 18 and 35 go in incubation and to take rest because the energy the crowning of this week is the energy of the devil it's a week of sex drugs and rock and roll seriously people so if you're not into that you need to stand back and understand that this energy needs to pass there's going to be a lot of celebration a lot of people are going to find themselves in the sexual contanglement or because the sexual energy is awakening and uh, the feminine energies of this planet is awakening and the sexuality so you will find that people are having random sex and that sort of a thing so it's a week for it like that for you Tauruses so be aware of whatever don't <laughs> make sure that you don't have any regrets after this week okay so just <laughs> keep positive and just take it calm go in incubation because maybe if you go out there you might um, get yourself involved in things that you wouldn't and shouldn't have 
on Thursday the 10 of Wands. so you have 99 and you have the 10 of Wands and um, the energy so you have 9 and 10 99 and 10 okay so the ten of ones, all your burden, you're releasing all your burden, and the eye princesses, your spirit guides are coming in and helping you on Thursday to release your burden. This is one of the most beautiful things because whenever the energy of the eye princess comes up, that means uh, your angels and guides are um, um, divinely taking over whatever situation is, is is happening. So as you call up and ask for help, uh, and as you have been asking for help, you're going to realize that in this week, uh, um, on Thursday. Thursday it's going to be a very um, intuitive day when your spirit guides are going to come in and guide you on the right part as we look at um, Friday it's a day of um, revelation when um, all the lies that people have been um, saying all the things that wasn't true all the untruths that people were saying the ten of swords is also in reverse so you have twice nine and twice ten the ten of swords and all of that people are um, really letting things go and it's the end of the situation so this is wonderful and this is perfect so for the people who have been involved in negative energies um, and that meaning negative people people who were lying and deceiving and that sort of a thing you're going to see that really coming up as we move forward we have the energy of the sun on Sunday and Saturday and this is going to be wonderful Saturday is a yes day whatever you're going for go for it on Saturday if you are planning or wondering if you should call someone and go out for dinner whatever it is go for it because you are about to to um, receive your energy your energy is coming back you have been in incubation you have been um, you know looking forward and in incubation and your energy is coming back you are feeling yourself again and this is wonderful on Sunday you have the energy of the king of swords which is an ash person he comes at you with your words and the um, queen of ones which is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and you have the king of sword this could be someone parents who is um, a Gemini a Libran or a um, Aries so these two persons are going to be coming at you but you're going to stand back and let them just fight it out with each other do not get involved let them have it out with each other don't get involved this is just anyway there is a judgment that is coming there is information that is coming out which is going to help you and it's going to be positive your week is a positive week in the sense that um, you know the sexuality energy of uh, because you're an earth energy a lot of you are going to feel real um, um, uh, the feminine energy of the sexuality the planet of Venus will be coming in and affecting you earth sign people in uh, you a Taurus in this week but whatever you do be aware of what you are going to get yourself involved this is going to be a wonderful week money is not going to be a problem if there was and you were looking for financial aid or what the sort of a situation is going to be good you're finally coming back to yourself you're finally being yourself and on Thursday and Friday whatever that was a burden to you you're going to release it whatever lies that will be told you're going to be release it because the universal angels and guide there is a judgment and um, they come in to help you in this week so this is going to be wonderful it's a week of love for you guys it's a it's a week of um, really wonderful loving energies that are coming towards you so it's a positive positive week let's see because I'm working with the unicorns one of my favorite decks and I'm working with both of my favorite decks this week make three wishes this came up for someone else also make three wishes and be careful when you make your wishes wish for something for yourself or something for humanity you know I always when I get this card I always wish for peace on earth and peace to everyone and I always wish that there that you know we all can change our energy vibration so we can all ascend 
and I wish um, for Elin for each and every one of us especially for my subscribers and people who watch this video whatever your wishes I'm hoping that one of your wishes and dreams will come through okay I love you Tauruses uh, never said this before but I do I love earth sign people because I'm also an earth sign people I love Tauruses because I can really get along with them okay let's go forward because I'm using one of my funny deck and it is the x-ray vision so in this week a lot of you are going to be seeing things clearly this week is going to be a week that you'll be seeing things clearly and I like to read the message on these cards because I think they're so wonderful and so powerful because uh, um, they you know the energy of the universe is uh, just so wonderful x-ray vision Ignore everything in your life that seems that there is a problem. It's time to look past the illusions, the veil of pity and struggle. As soon as you truly attend to all of what appears wrong, you will begin to notice all sorts of light and signs of clues. The universe is throwing buckets of clear guidance your way. See beyond the surface and superficial soak in the deeper meaning in stock in the fresh water of truth so most of you are going to be seeing truths about certain situations so make a wish and after you make the wish say it is so and it will be and I'm making my wish so we can all make our three wishes together because we did that for the world and now we're going to do it for ourselves so one, two, three, make three wishes. If it's so, and it will be. Namaste till next week.